one of the most controversial team names in sports history, is being removed. Washington, D.C.'s football team has announced it will drop the term many Native Americans have been saying for years is just racist. After decades of pressure, what finally turned the tide? ABC's Rachel Scott has this story. Tonight, Washington's NFL team buckling under pressure, dropping the Redskins' name and logo. Announcing the franchise's new name will inspire our sponsors, fans, and community for the next 100 years. The Navajo Nation still with harsh words for the team that's used the racist slur despite decades-long outrage, saying this change did not come about willingly by the team's owners, but by mounting pressure and advocacy of indigenous peoples. On behalf of the Navajo Nation, we thank and commend all of our indigenous brothers and sisters who dedicated themselves to a just cause and won. We knew it was a long shot, but you know, sometimes you don't fight a fight because you can win. You fight it because it needs to be fought. It's such a good decision for the country, not just for Native peoples, because it closes a painful chapter of denigration and disrespect towards Native Americans. Today, the White House press secretary saying the president believes Native Americans would have been upset at a name change, citing this tweet from last week. He uh, says that he believes that um, the Native American community would be very angry at this, and he does have polling to back him up. But this team's racially insensitive name has long been in dispute. In 2002, the California DMV stopped this man from using the term for his license plate. It means uh, football team. Yes, that's it. Just a football team like the Steelers or the uh, Vikings. I don't think the Vikings are mad. <laughs> Owner Dan Snyder once famously said, we'll never change the name, never. You can use caps. You're gonna have some people that feel a certain way, absolutely, and we respect those opinions, but I hope they respect our opinion. The turning point came when some of the team's biggest sponsors, FedEx, Nike, and Pepsi, demanded a name change. FedEx threatening to remove its signage from their stadium, a move that could potentially cost Snyder tens of millions of dollars. The economics of it were not going to allow Washington's football team to continue on with that nickname. Just weeks ago, a statue of the franchise's founder, George Preston Marshall, the last NFL owner to integrate, was taken down. Now their trademark name, a thing of the past, too. And Rachel Scott joins us now from outside of FedEx Field. Rachel, any word on what the new team name will be? Lindsay, this has fans on the edge of their seats. No official word yet from the franchise, but that is not stopping people from throwing out some suggestions. So on the list, you got the Washington Red Tails in honor of the Tuskegee Airmen. You got the Washington Red Wolves, the Washington Warriors. Your guess is as good as mine, Lindsay, but a source does tell ESPN that the franchise does plan to keep the colors. Lindsay? Okay, all right, ABC's Rachel Scott in the nation's capital for us. Thanks so much, Rachel. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.